does your prints look like this and do you want to get them to look more like this cat these cats this cat and the other cat that also is a phone stand then you should watch this video to figure out how to clean your nozzle and how to replace it if it's necessary so continue watching to see how to do that and yeah what you want to start off with is go into control and then raise the nozzle temperature up to 240 degrees on your ender tree 3d printer and it should be then after that you need to remove the pla from the actual 3d printer because you cannot fix the problem without removing the actual pla first now I'm, I am going to remove the PLA from the 3D printer. Now that the nozzle has warmed up to 240 degrees, I am going to clean it with one of these needles that you get included with your Ender 3 3D printer, unless you threw it away or something like that. What you want to do is put it, put the needle in the hole and just clean it a little bit while the heat is on so that every every piece of gunk comes out of the hole right here and if it is clogged it would probably come out right now and if it uh, isn't clogged then th there is another problem with the 3d printer but if it is clogged now it should come out when you clean it like this otherwise if it doesn't then you need to remove and replace the nozzle that you have on the 3d printer and as you can see my needle wasn't dirty so my 3d nos printer nozzle is actually quite good right now let's see if the 3d printer is actually clogged by putting in the filament again and if it isn't clogged right now it should come out a stringy piece of pla or whatever plastic you're using in your 3d printer and as you can see on my 3D printer, a string of PLA is coming out, which means that my nozzle is not clogged and it doesn't need to be removed right now. But if you're not seeing any plastic coming out right now, if you have it in the 3D printer, then there may be an actual problem with your 3D printer, the printer nozzle, and you need to remove and replace it. So I will show you how to do it right now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the nozzle. So as you can see here is the nozzle and what you want to use to remove the nozzle is actually the wrench that you get included with your Ender 3 3D printer that you can see right here. And you want to use the small end but because I have already replaced my nozzle before um, the small end doesn't fit anymore on my actual nozzle so I for replacing my nozzle I will have to use a screwdriver regular screwdriver hole that a bit usually fit into because that apparently fit perfectly and I will use that instead but I will not actually remove my 3d printer nozzle because it doesn't have to be removed so I just think it's unnecessary so but I am going to show you in detail how to remove it if you was willing to do it on your 3d printer and it need to do it so yeah so what you want to do is take out your wrench and the small side and then just twist it counterclockwise and the nozzle should come out but if it doesn't you can use a screwdriver that i am going to use so you want to remove the nozzle by turning it counterclockwise with either the screwdriver or the wrench and it should eventually come out and then you just take it out just like screw it out just like this and then take it out put it on like the bed beneath it because it still is hot on the on the nozzle so don't actually touch the nozzle with your hand just screw it out with the screwdriver and then screw in a new uh, nozzle that should fit in the uh, nozzle hole that you had before and just screw it in clockwise and it should fit perfectly and screw it in clockwise until it is snug and then you should be done with actually removing and replacing the nozzle but first you actually want to remove this safety cover right here because it's going to give you an easier access to the actual nozzle. But yeah, that was pretty much all for this video. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one I hope. And yeah, so subscribe and see you. Bye.